Much better tasting a second time. You really get everything. I'm getting it. I made a mistake. Welcome to Crevada Hot Hot Scores. Whether you like your hot sauce, spicy or sweet, we'll find you the one that's delicious to eat. Before we get to the intro hot sauce, I just wanted to report back. I made myself a pucker duckini. <laughs> I have to say, it is wonderful. It, in some ways, it's like a dirty martini because of the salt content, but it has this great spice and this great sweet and this great fruity. Uh, this is it. This is it. So I, I thumbs up on the pucker duckini. I, as a follow up, had double axe habanero mango on these high quality hot dogs and sauerkraut, and I smothered it. And I want to say I handled it pretty good. I ate it all, and I, I was, I manned up. You know, Jocelyn texted us, told us you almost threw up. So. <laughs> Uh, what? <laughs> she did? Well, One day you're going to have to show me what she texted you. <laughs> uh, we cannot. It's um, brother-in-law, sister-in-law privilege. We're not allowed. Sauce time! I am super excited about this sauce because it is perhaps my favorite sauce currently in my sauce roster. This sauce is going to be Los Calientes Rojo from Hot Ones, um, available from Heatnest. And what, you may ask, does Heatnest say about Los Calientes Rojo? In this kicked up edition of Los Calientes, applewood smoked red jalapenos lend sweetness, while citrus and an extra handful of habanero up the heat factor. A unique mix of herbs and tart apricot give the sauce its signature flavor, with an increased nuance for an unforgettable condiment that's sure to be your new go-to. And let me tell you, it is my go-to and it is almost empty. I too. The ingredients of this sauce is peppers, smoked red jalapeno, comma habanero in parentheses, apricot, and then in parentheses it says azorbic acid added, close parentheses. Then apple cider vinegar. I looked at the next line this time. <laughs> Good they job. Tried to, they tried to get me because they put the vinegar on the next line. So they were, it's almost like they were, they were trying to get me. They know you. I know. And then we have agave nectar, lemon juice, tomatillo, or tomatillo, water, <laughs> garlic, salt. So many rest, so many. This is a hard one. Toasted onion, toasted onion. <laughs> like, do you slice up onion and put it in the toaster? Uh, <laughs> cumin. Uh, <laughs> not cilantro, well, cilantro, culentro. Black pepper, thyme, or thyme, you know, rosemary. <laughs> celery seed. And that's it. There's very little celery seed because that was the last ingredient listed and that is all the time we have left today on our episode <laughs> <laughs> tune in next time when we taste the los calientes <laughs> rojo but let me tell you all those ingredients they are perfect ingredients for a hot sauce well, hi. Hi. Mm. i love this sauce It's delicious. Mm. It is delicious. Mm. I'm looking up the spill. As delicious it is, as it is, so taste is going to be huge. I had the pucker duck teeny, and this soothed my mouth from that, and we gave that a one. So I'm thinking the best you can get is a one on heat, but that's fine. It's got some heat. This sauce is so delicious. It's really just an amazing tasting sauce. Like, I don't even think of it as because I want to add heat. I mean, this is just making food taste better. My friend Ugo buys sauces from what we're doing on this show. This is one where I would look at him and uh, tell him, you have to get this sauce.
Yeah, it's a great sauce. Yeah, Agreed. I think on my first 10 wing challenge, when I got to this, I said, if there's one sauce you're going to buy from watching, it's this one. I have not changed that opinion. I put it on, like, it's instead of mustard on my hot dogs now, it's on eggs when I'm not in the mood for something really spicy. I just want a little bit of heat and flavor. Um, love, love this sauce. I would so number it. it up. I said one right from the bat. Okay, so it's one for heat for sure. And I'm going to say the magic words for this, for our taste. This is my 10. <laughs> I, oh, no. I have seen nothing that, I, that one, maybe, maybe something can match it, but it can't pass it to me. It's too delicious to be passed. It can only be matched, if that. It's my Bo Derek. <laughs> that is an old reference. I am an old man. I was definitely thinking and tempted to say 10, but I was thinking I was going to, you know, if you asked me first, I would have said nine to leave room still. And it's because there are other sauces I love a lot also as well. And I'm not going to call them all tens. So I was going to come in at nine. But he still is. He still is because I'm going nine. But, <laughs> because there's a lot of sauces we still have to try. I loved the small acts that we had last time. And to me, this one is also excellent, but I don't know that I'm going to say it's so much better that it gets a 10. For right now, I would be real much more comfortable at nine. So the difference between this and the small axe, if you're willing to come down to a nine with us, Matthew, is that there's no asterisk. There's no Brooklyn issue with this sauce. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's from Brooklyn. It actually is from Brooklyn. <laughs> Uh, Heatness, a uh, hot ones, your Brooklynality has kept you solid in a nine over everyone else. I'll come down to a nine, and um, but you know, it's with the asterisk of it should be a 10. A strong, strong nine. Before we move on to our hot, hot sauce, I want to welcome our special guest, my daughter, Shayna Crevat. Shayna, welcome. Ooh, Shayna. <laughs> Welcome to Crevatic Hot Scores. Scores. Thank you. Welcome to the inside of my new laptop that I bought specifically to show this nice background for Hot Scores. It, it is lovely inside your laptop. I'm really, it's very spacious. I like the air conditioning. It's Sauce time! We are returning to Hawaii for another uh, uh, Dobo Loco sauce. It's very exciting. Um, this one is called Hamajang, and it's a pidgin English term that means messed up. And it is a smoked ghost pepper. It's smoked with uh, kaavi, which is kind of like mesquite. So it's smoked ghost pepper with habanero. And you're going to ask, well, what's messed up about that? Because it sounds delightful and delicious. Um, but it's not the sauce that's messed up. It's what happens to you if you have too much. And I don't think they intended it to be taken off a spoon. So it's what's going to happen to us. Mess me up, baby. Well, as I talk about what's in this sauce, I would like to say mahalo to the people at Adobo Loco because they <laughs> list the ingredients in lines, like they're separated. They, they've made an accommodation, which feels like it was just for me. I see an A in your future. The ingredients are apple cider vinegar, chili pepper, which I think refers to the ghost pepper and the jalapeno. So for learning from reading all these ingredients is that chili pepper is a broader term and lots of the other peppers all fit under that category. Um, and then there's sea salt and then finally garlic. Well, Lee, you were wrong. He did not get an A because he said jalapeno instead of habanero. No. <laughs> oh. Well, <laughs> I thought I heard you say jalapeno. I wasn't reading that, though. There was no, that's not. <laughs> he said right. chili pepper. Your reading was an A, but your knowledge of the sauce was an F. That's why Matthew handles the description of the sauce. I'm really excited about this sauce because the first time I had it was in Hawaii. And coincidentally, it was Shayna and her partner James that bought it for us to try. They got it for me as a holiday present as well. Yeah. And I'm all finished with those, so it's exciting to have a brand new bottle. 
When in doubt, I get my dad hot sauce for presents. It actually started me along my hot sauce journey. Thank you, Shana. <laughs> You're welcome. Get him a hot sauce or get him a uh, maple syrup candy. Either one of those will do. <laughs> I do like maple syrup candy. I like maple candy bacon. I wonder what hot sauce and maple candy with bacon would taste like. It would taste like heaven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think there is like in Trader Joe's like this hot bacon, like a bacon with heat, but also with a sweet flavor. I'm forgetting what it is. There is something like that that exists. They have a bacon jerky that I highly recommend, but I'm a vegan. <laughs> I've had that. Mostly, I've had mostly that a vegan. That's You're what I was <laughs> I am proud that my brother is completely, totally a vegan, except when he's eating animals or animal products. It's vegan exception worthy. Plant-based. Pigs eat plants. I'm a second generation vegan. I eat things that eat vegetables. Sauce it up! What does this do? But like, I mean, I'm just guessing there are solids and hot sauce that come to the top when you mix? Yeah, I mean, the, as, as Jeremy so wisely and sagely read the ingredients, it's mostly vinegar and then chili peppers in the vinegar. So you want to make sure the suspension is equal. Otherwise, you may end up having a not very spicy one one day. And then the next time you have the same sauce, it'll blow your socks off. When you have a sauce that um, starts with like the pepper mash, we sometimes have to stick things in there like to push it back down because like the top is, of the bottle gets blocked. It's like bottlenecking, literally. <laughs> I, that's where the term comes from, Jeremy. From hot sauces. <laughs> yes, specifically hot sauce. This was very hard to pour because they are afraid you're going to pour it too much. So they make it a little pinhole top. Why am I here? Oh no. Mm, a little aroma check, a little bouquet. Yeah, that's, that's hot. <laughs> oh yeah, you smell the heat. I smell vinegar and I smell the chili pepper, the uh, ghost pepper. I don't smell the smokiness as much as I smell the ghost I smell pepper. the yeah. smokiness. Isn't that odd? Oh. I smell intense smoke. You want to swap spoons? No, I like smoky. Okay. I mean, maybe it's because you're in California and there's just smoke. Oh, yeah. Well, we're yellow right now. Shane, I think you're red or purple in Washington. Yeah, it's pretty bad, honestly. It's okay to be yellow as long as you're not yellow about your mustard. <laughs> Lachaim! <laughs> Ooh, very hot. Ooh, ooh, that's really hot. There's like a nice sizzle. Mm. It like hits your tongue and spreads. Yeah. It's, sharp. it's really hot. It's not that hot. It's, there was some it's hot, Lee. Your head is shrinking into your shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> Again. That's how I do with some heat. This is Lee. It's not hot. <laughs> I feel like that was the, like the habanero blast was right away, and then the ghost pepper is going to come in behind it and just make it worse. Yeah, it's just burning my tongue. This is hot. It's not like last dab hot or anywhere close to it, though. Stop. You're scaring me. <laughs> I'm going to have to eat that one one day. Oh, boy. It's hot. It's in my ears. Like, I can hear how hot it is. <laughs> that's, that's flames coming out. Yeah. So I've experienced a flavor turn. Like the burn is still there, but the flavor is already gone. It's gone, yeah. It, it was a little bit smoky. I'll admit that I was hoping for a little more. Yeah. Jeremy, chug, baby, chug. Mm, it doesn't go with almond milk very well. Nothing does. <laughs> Ouch. It's very concentrated Ouch. in like the center of my tongue. Like it kind of spread, but now it's just... The very center. I agree. It, for me, it's a tongue burn. It's a tongue heat. Got it in my chest. I've got like a chest heat from it. <clears throat> I have a lot of saliva. Sorry. Let me see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How do I do this? Uh, Shane is tearing. I'm fine. <laughs> Are you crying because you hate muscle. being on the show or because the hot sauce is getting to you? Um, the combination. Also, just the smoke is in the air, so my eyes are decently irritated. But you somewhat hate being on the show. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, wait, no. Not just... hate, it's regret. <laughs> A little bit of regret. The saliva is deep in my throat. I feel like a scary looking goat. You look like one, too. And we're being true. And that was all she wrote. It's <laughs> a good one from my niece, the author. Tales of the Mundane. Buy it now. 
I don't know why. Now it's hitting my lip. If you want a hint, I, I did put on some lipstick and then some chapstick because I feel it on my lips, and that keeps me, I'm like trained to not lick my lips when I'm wearing lipstick. Yeah. She's a recovering lip licker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like that stuff you put on your nails so you don't bite your nails. Exactly. What? I don't need that. What? Jeremy, what are you chewing? <laughs> Dark chocolate covered cherries from Trader Joe's. Oh. Can you send them up here? No, I need them. <laughs> Fair enough. I was so prepared. I got a whole station set up. I have the tissues, my water, my tea, the hot sauce, bread. I'm just milk. I got it all. We all agree that turn has happened, except Jeremy who's still chugging. Oh yeah, yeah, I've turned. Oh, yeah. There's still a little bit of res residual. Yeah. The heat's still pepper, there, but but it's turned. I'm not this as in as much pain as I was. This heat clearly lasts a while, and that's even when I remember. Dad, when you mentioned that we ate this in Hawaii, I'm like, oh yeah, with the carrots, right? We were just dipping baby carrots in this hot sauce to have something, like some vehicle for it. Um, it lasts a while. Jeremy's gone. Jeremy does not last a while. I think Jeremy needs real half and half. The almond milk isn't cutting it for him. <laughs> but what I brought um, today is Evan Williams eggnog, you know, that has whiskey, uh, bourbon, brandy, and rum all in it, just because I wanted to, and it's fall, um, or almost fall here in North Carolina, we're getting closer, uh, so um, I thought it was appropriate to pick up my alcohol of, of the fall. It's 11.30, Matthew. I live on the East Coast, it's 2.30. I want to take a drink of my tea because I enjoy tea, not because I need to, but I'm, I'm afraid of seeming like I can't handle the heat. You can't handle the heat! I think I got a different bottle, a different batch, hotter pepper or something. This adobo loco hamajang is much hotter than I ever remembered it. I think they changed uh, the recipe. Uh, you might have gotten Jeremy's bottle. Hey, let's have a second one. Uh, yeah. So, you know what's funny is last night I was doing um, a marathon of Cravat Attack hot scores videos because I was setting up my new laptop. And... Um, in the first video with Jocelyn, you say, we're not going to do a second taste every time. We're just doing it this time. And like I said, I was marathoning them. Um, so it seems to me you've actually done it every time. Twice I said, I won't do it unless someone will do it with me. And I did not expect anybody to do it with me when we did the pucker butt chocolate plague. That was a surprise. Like my tongue still hurts. You don't like have, have to do a second. Shana, there's something I, I've been meaning to tell you for a couple of years now. Your, your father's a big fat liar. So <laughs> when he says we're not going to do it every time, or we're going to do it every time. Shana, this is why when I go down to San Diego after all this is over, I may kill your father. <laughs> Please don't. Please don't. I love oh, no, him. You've got insurance and, and inheritance coming. It's cool. It's not okay. worth it. It's okay. Your mom won't let me kill him. <laughs> You raised me not to give into peer pressure, so like, why am I still doing this? Uh -huh. you do it, don't do it for peer pressure reasons. The cool kids are doing it, Dad. Look at I it this way, Shana. Thing. You're not doing it to follow us, we're following you. I ask the same thing all the time, Shana. Why do I do this? Why don't I do the first one? Why don't I just say, out of the three brothers, I'm simply not the hot sauce guy. Oh, uh, thank you, Shana, but we've never been called the cool ones before. <laughs> There's good reason. There are other, like, they're prettier hot sauces. It's so brown. What, what can brown do for you? Lahaya. Lahaya. No, don't do this. Mm. Much better tasting a second time. You really get everything. I'm getting it. In. I made a mistake. I, like, shot it back this time instead of letting it. Mm. You made my mistake from when I did chocolate plate. It is in the back of my throat now. So I in was expecting, because of the other two Adobo Locos that I've had recently, that I've talked about on the show, there uh, to be a pickle juice type of flavor. Uh, there's no grab scenes going on here. This is, no. not your, this is not your father's grab scenes. I thought the second shot was very much like, here's your smoky flavor, and now it is gone, and here's your heat. Oh my God, it went to my nose. Oh. Shana, when we say grab scenes, we're talking about Katz's or Second Avenue. But for us. It was, the, it was the Brooklyn one, the one from Brooklyn. I love Katz's and Second Avenue. When, um, when James and I went to visit Devin two years ago, I was like, we are going to a deli. We are giving James this New York experience. 
it was pouring outside, so we waited all throughout rain and cats's. Um, cats's and dogs's? <laughs> it was rain and cats's and dogs's outside of cats's. We didn't even have to leave Canarsie when we were kids. Yeah. Things was right there. And it was often a place that if for some reason your grandma Sandy was not going to be home if she was going out with friends or whatever, that's what we had for dinner because Grandpa Manny didn't cook. So we would go buy onion rolls and corned beef and pastrami, and that was our dinner. I, so I just moved to Washington, so I don't have a good deli here yet. Everywhere else I found, everywhere I've lived, I found a good deli except here. So if anyone's watching out there and you know of a good Jewish deli in um, the Kirkland or Seattle area, please comment it below and tell me. From a heat level, I would say it's a four. You're so lucky you said that. I'm not going to say three. <laughs> I, would have, I would have gotten in my car right now and you would be in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Driven through fire. Now, I would not have been surprised if you had said five for the heat, because I feel like this heat is much more of a vivid ghost pepper heat than the other things we've had that were ghost pepper even. This one is like lingering longer. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if the burn term was longer, but it's certainly that the heat itself is staying much longer. It's not so intense that I wouldn't stay come down, wouldn't say four with you, but I'm but I could see it being a five just for the quality of its heat. I've already been trained not to argue. Like I knew in my mind, of course, I'd be higher. But I said, all I said to myself is if they say three, I'm gonna my my head's gonna hit the roof. <laughs> Said four, so I'm not going to be, I'll, I'm gonna, I'll live with it. But to me, this is hurting as much as Hellboy. We gave Hellboy a five. And for Hellboy, I said a four, but there were some sixes out there. So I went to a five. I do think this is Hellboy equivalent. So I haven't done the other hot sauces that y'all have done. Um, but I'm imagining 10 is like something I can't handle. And since I know I can handle the last dab without a vehicle, I'm giving that like an eight in my head. And comparing this to the last dab, I'm like, yeah, this, this really isn't close. It took a little bit of like sticking my courage to the sticking place, but like I wasn't even reaching for water or tea. So I would probably agree this is a four or a five. I don't hear an argument for a five. I'm just throwing Jeremy a bone. <laughs> I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna fight you in a four. I've always, I've always been willing to compromise, compromise at least one, one level. I'm, I'm actually gonna argue against myself. <laughs> if we're being consistent, I just got some great smoky taste, by the way. If we're being consistent, I think it's five. Okay. If, we, if we've reset our scale, it's a four. I think what's really interesting about the heat in this hot sauce though, is you get like the hit heat from habanero and then you get the ghost pepper like lingering heat so it is like a double punch heat in that regard i think it's well balanced that they do they kind of stack instead of having it at the same time like first one hits you then you're like oh that wasn't bad oh wait here's the other one yeah if we're getting if we're getting into taste <clears throat> i really respect the double heat impact combined with the smokiness which i am getting as an aftertaste i like it I'm six. So are we agreeing that it's a heat five in order to stay consistent with y'all's previous scale? I think unless we re recount everything, we have to be consistent in the scale. Because what's the use if we're not consistent? If you don't know when you watch what a number means, what's the use? This, this is hell by heat. So it's, I'll say five. Yeah. I'm not sold on the flavor for this. The flavor for me is mostly just heat. There's not as much smokiness as I want. Like, I don't even, I mean, maybe it's a good thing that I'm not getting overwhelmingly like vinegar flavor, but I'd probably place it more at like a five. And I'll agree with that. I, I tasted right up front an initial sweetness. That was nice. I'm going with the old double nickel. I think it's a five heat, five taste. I think it's, it, it's balanced in that way. Speed limit. Speed limit. Well, it was a speed limit under Carter. Once upon a time, speed limit. Jimmy Carter, the president, reference to lower it to 55 because that's where cars are optimal. At that point, that's where cars were optimal. They're not necessarily <laughs> optimal at that speed anymore. Thank you for explaining. I needed Double that. nickel, baby. Double nickel. Break one nine, break one nine. I got a sauce here heading down the double nickel. I really think this is about as much heat as I want if I'm going to do a nice coat on something. A six, I have to kind of dab the food in places. But a five like this, I can pour it on and really get, I think, the smoky taste and the heat in every bite. I like it. This is going to be something that goes on hamburgers. Excuse me. 
I yeah, rarely have burgers. hamburgers because I'm a vegan. Plant-based. On my Beyond Burgers, on my Beyond Burgers. This, I can really put it on there and get some heat. What I want to do right now is I want it, well, it's braining, so I'm not going to right now, but I want to go out and grill hot dogs. Hot dogs made from meat because I'm not a vegan. Plant-based. And I don't want to put these on my hot dog. I don't. But I do want to cook up a mess of baked beans and put this in the baked beans. I think this would have the smoky and heat and baked beans. That would be excellent. Or if I was making chili for the hot dogs, that would be just as good. I mostly eat hot sauce on my eggs in the morning because I can't stand the taste of eggs. Um, so this is a hot sauce that I could actually put on my eggs and like I'll be in pain and James will be like, why do you keep putting the hot sauce on your eggs when it's making you cry? But it's going to be good enough and worth it and I'm going to enjoy the heat enough that it's going to be what I do. We have a Hawaiian tropical place, uh, like a beer house full restaurant and I'm going to try this on the Loco Moco. So one big question I had about these adobo loco sauces was which was hotter, the Kalohi Kid or Hamajang? Because according to the Hot One Scoville units, they have Kalohi Kid as hotter than Hamajang. But on the website of Adobo Loco, they have Hamajang as hotter than Kalohi Kid. And I think Adobo they're, they're Loco right. knows its sauces. Hamajang yeah. is significantly hotter. Yeah, and on the on Double Loco site, they say Chloe Kid is hot and Hamajang is very hot. Like that, those are their categories on the on their website. I think they know what they make. I don't feel messed up. I said it, I don't feel messed up. It didn't mess me up. It's a four. It's a five. I'm giving it a double nickel. Maybe if I had exceeded the speed limit, I would be messed up, but I was straight in one lane. It's like the double nickel that Jordan put up on the Knicks in Madison Square Garden. Michael Jordan's a basketball player that was really good and always had great games against the Knicks. Yeah, he was in Space Jam. I know him. Yes, yes. He's, he's a Looney Tunes character. Exactly famous right. actor. Famous actor, Michael Jordan. <laughs> famous actor and baseball player, Michael Jordan. <laughs> hey, Shana, it was great having you. You are welcome back anytime you want on Provided Attack Hotspurs. Hey, if you like seeing Shayna on our show, smash the like button. If you like these videos, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell and set it to all. Ding, 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 if, ding. And if you have an idea of a hot sauce or a brand, a line of hot sauces that we haven't tried or mentioned, please leave us a comment because we're looking for new stuff all the time. Also, don't forget Jewish Deli in Seattle or Kirkland. Comments. Thank you.